Now, many, many times people take vitamin D without really seeing the results. And this video is gonna discuss the two situations why that occurs. The first situation is you have damage in your digestive system. You may have Crohn's, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, celiac from consuming gluten, which you're sensitive to, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, any damage that's in your digestive system. And you may have experienced a lot of antibiotics or eating a lot of junk food or drinking alcohol, whatever the cause, because the receptors for vitamin D are in your intestines. And that's where you absorb calcium, for example, by a factor of 20 times more. And that's one of the big purposes of vitamin D. So you have vitamin D that goes in the receptor. So there's something called the vitamin D receptor. So if your gut's not allowing you to absorb the vitamin D, what do you do? Well, very simply, you take gut-friendly vitamin D. That would include any one of these, like sublingual vitamin D, topical vitamin D, where you put it in the skin and it absorbs through the skin. Um, you can go to the doctor and get it injected, or the sun. Now, the second reason why vitamin D might not work is you have a problem with the vitamin D receptor itself, and it becomes blocked for several reasons. So in other words, if you have a problem with this receptor, the vitamin D will not connect 100%, maybe uh, 30% or 40%, but not 100%. And by the way, 30% of the population has a problem with the vitamin D receptor. And also 40% of people who are obese also have a problem with the vitamin D receptor. Now there's a very simple and inexpensive test that you can get done to see if you have this problem. And it's only $29 and I'll put a link down below if you wanna get that test done. And that test will determine if you have a genetic problem with the vitamin D receptor. And the word for that is called polymorphism. I don't wanna to get too much into that, but just so you know, it's very common. Three out of 10 people have a problem with the vitamin D receptor. So what do you do in this situation? Well, you take more vitamin D. So you may need to take 40, 50, or even 60,000 IUs of vitamin D for you to start seeing results. Now you wanna make sure that for every 10,000 IUs of vitamin D, you also take 100 micrograms of K2 because they both work together. Now there's a couple other things you can take to enhance vitamin D absorption. I just mentioned vitamin K2, but also omega-3, and that would be DHA and EPA. Zinc would help boron, magnesium, and intense exercise. And lastly, I don't have any specific brands related to this, but you're just gonna have to do your own research on that. And thanks for watching. And definitely check out some of the other videos I have on vitamin D. Vitamin D is the most important fat-soluble vitamin.